today I'm doing a Copic marker test on photo paper and this one has a little bit of a twist. This was actually printed with my LaserJet printer which uses toner. I have been told that toner will not be reactivated by Copic marker. Um, and I've already selected my colors and I grabbed some Friskit because I want to do a mask because I want to do a um, a wash with B32 and then maybe some B32 spray in the background. So um, if you don't know how to use Friskit for a mask, um, there are some other videos of mine that I can recommend you just check out the card over there. And uh, I'm gonna get started with this. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so my Friskit has been cut out and wiped down with rubbing alcohol and it's time to apply that mask. And it's gonna be a little bit difficult because she's got a lot of fiddly bits to her and that's always tough for me. Something I found though is um, leaving parts on, like parts of the backing on, can really help. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect the arms from the frisket. and put them back, or I'm sorry, from the masking paper, backing paper, and put them back on. That way I can sort of massage them into place if I need to. I'm gonna leave the head on as well for now. So we end up with something that looks like this. This is gonna be tricky, like I said, doubly so because can't see her, oh, shoot, the thing I really didn't want to happen, happen, and it doesn't want to come off the paper. So that's something else to keep in mind, and if that is a problem, you can remove some of the tack from your frisket the way you would with masking tape by putting it down on your arm and peeling it away. That will make it easier to remove once the mask has been put down. And this isn't high quality photo paper. I tried to run nice quality photo paper through my little um, my little printer, and it didn't want to recognize the four by six size, which is a little weird. I think it's meant to be like a home office printer. Um, I may have to play around with the settings some. I don't do my photo prints at home though. I do them through Shutterfly when they have a sale, so I'm not particularly concerned about it for that aspect. But if I do decide to use um, my printer to print out my line work, that's gonna be a problem. So this is actually kind of cheap photo sticker paper that I had around the apartment since my nice photo paper wouldn't run through and I really didn't want to buy a full size sheet of photo paper just for um, this sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do a wash with my Copic Wide. And you can see that streaking on photo paper is more of an issue than it would be on non-photo paper. So you definitely want to have an even hand if you can. I'm gonna go ahead and saturate the top as much as I can. I don't know that colorless blender would help us out a whole lot here. Making my frisket a little sticky as well. That's done. Let's go ahead and spray it with alcohol marker in a spray mister. And I have a tutorial on how to do that as well, right here. Check the cards uh, if you're interested. And I'm gonna let all this dry and then remove my frisket. All right, so I think my ink is dried. And one of the things about photo paper is it seems to take your ink 
really quickly. Um, and you can get some really interesting effects, especially from spraying like that. But I have had problems in the past with my photo paper. Um, so, like, not photo paper. My, it doesn't, it seems like it does not ever want to leave the photo paper now. Um, with my alcohol inks soaking underneath my masking fluid. I mean, my, dang it, masking paper, my, my misket. Um, no, rather, frisket. <laughs> so, I don't want to push it too much. And I think this left a residue on my photo paper. Okay. Alright. Well, you know. I can try wiping it off with rubbing alcohol. We'll see. Honestly, making... Oh! There we go. Making mistakes in these sort of um, paper test videos is great because it can show you guys what to avoid. I am totally not ever afraid of making mistakes on camera because that's how you learn, is through making mistakes. And I want you guys to know that it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to do things that don't turn out right. And it's okay to take risks. Um, even if you don't really think of yourself as an artist and you're just trying to just trying to make a card for somebody you love and get it oh nuts I got all this blue on there all right let's since it's on her face I have to care let's see if I can get it up <laughs> make it worse looks like it's blending out a bit Course. It's gonna be a mess. Still don't regret making mistakes for you guys. As I was saying, even if you're just trying to make a um a card for someone you love, right? And like you really aren't interested in pursuing art and you don't wanna have to think about it too 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 much. And you don't have to oh okay, so the misket is taking up some of the ink from my inkjet printer. Well, now we have learned that frisket does not get along with photo paper. So if you're trying this technique at home, please avoid the masking stuff. You're just gonna have to do it by hand. I know it's kind of a pain in the booty. All right, grab my 32B Copic sketch. Oh, dog on it. So it seems like where the um where the sticky is is um kind of resistant to marker. So I'm going to should have seen that coming. I'm gonna have to do another test, aren't I? I am going to, and I hope I don't regret this, I'm going to wipe this down with some rubbing alcohol on a Viva paper towel. And we'll find out together if that works or if it ruins things. Oh, all right. Um. Can you can even tell. So, lesson numero uno, do not use masking frisket on photo paper with your, um, you're gonna have to use something that doesn't have an adhesive, basically. So, um, using, uh, I don't know, like paper? maybe gingerly taped at the sides um, so that it has as little contact with the paper surface as possible might be the way to go. I am getting a lot of the adhesive up, although not as much as I want. And I thought using the old re reduced tackiness via dead skin cells trick would help. I use it when I stretch my watercolor paper 
um, did not help. Alright, I'm gonna finish cleaning this off, and I'll check in with you guys. So I've gotten mm -hmm, some of the sticky off. I've gotten the most sticky off I can get. Um, and it's a shame because it seems like the sticky residue from the frisket, uh, well, it prevents your markers from really acting like markers. It prevents them from making good contact with the sticker paper. So I've already put in too much. Uh, I mean, I've already put in enough effort that I want to see this through. I don't want to start it from scratch. But I am aware um, that, you know, this may not turn out right and that I should, will probably have to revisit this in the future to, uh, to be able to fully determine whether or not. So one of the things about um, photo paper is once you put something down, it's not going to move. Um, you can kind of blend it out a little bit, but it's, it's going to be there for a while. So you need to, myself included, especially because I am like queen of over blending, uh, you need to really know where you're going and know where your colors are going to be, or at least try. Um, so this may not turn out the greatest because I am not known for that entirely. I um, rely a lot on blending to do some of my heavy lifting for me, so I may not be able to get what I'm looking for. And just because I decide a technique isn't really working for me is no reason why it might not work for you. I can already feel where the adhesive is and it's very annoying. I am actually putting in my blushes first because I have a feeling that skin tones might behave differently than I'm used to. I am noticing some blending. I think the adhesive on the frisket actually is causing more problems with blending than the paper itself. And like I said, this is cheap photo paper. This is some photo sticker paper I have around because the photo paper I do own um, is four by six and my printer won't print it. But I figured if this worked out well, I might consider getting some more expensive photo paper. And I am happy to see that, oh man, it's really gummy over here on her palms. Um, I am happy to see that the toner isn't going anywhere. Even though I have gone over it a couple of times with uh, an alcohol soaked rag to try and pick up this gummy gross mess uh, and even though it's had like oh man her arms are so gummy from that stupid adhesive um, even though it had that masking uh, paper on top of it the toner for the most part has done a good job staying in place so uh, I'm excited to possibly, oh man, it's causing a resist down there at the bottom of her legs. It's so disappointing. Um, I'm excited to give it another shot, basically. I am frustrated by the residue left by the masking fluid, and that was something I decided to use because it does make it a lot easier to do like sky backgrounds very quickly. Unfortunately, I am starting to learn that shortcuts and I just aren't meant to be together. Not a relationship I can look forward to. However, even with the issues caused by the adhesive, I am heartened by how the markers are handling on this, and I would love to explore it another time without the stupid garbage mess of stickiness underneath. I'm sorry, I will be complaining about it the whole time. 
because like I think the technique is valid and I think the paper is valid and I think there's a lot of promise and I wrecked it like in the first 10 minutes by applying something something meant for masking applying something meant for masking um, that ruined the paper surface There's also a really nice um, sort of translucency with the paper uh, because there's a coating on top and I assume your alcohol is ending up either sitting on top of the coating the way it sits on top of Yupo or it's um, like in between the coating and the paper because it just it doesn't seem to actually be soaking saturating the paper itself it seems to be stopping somewhere in between so you get a lot of um translucency to your color that you wouldn't otherwise have with um marker papers that are meant to soak in now the problem is is um like yupo you can't layer the same color a whole lot it's not going to really make a big difference and since i degraded the paper surface with that sticky adhesive i am not going to i'm not going to try and do my usual shading i'm just going to leave it as kind of like default shading minimal shading but I may try again on this paper not this piece of paper but this type of paper even the fact that it's cheap um, I may try again later on and see if I can do that something I'm surprised about is it doesn't seem like the colors are really they're layering fine like I thought they were going to push each other out of the way. Seems areas that weren't wrecked with the... Hang on a second. Seems like the color, the areas that weren't totally wrecked by the adhesive take color a little bit better. And the ones that were form a resist, so face has a lot of resist on it which is a shame because the face is the part everybody notices but yeah I definitely think I'm gonna be revisiting this paper and this technique later on and her freckles are not coming out dark enough I'm gonna have to like break out the big guns and go with like sepia or something at some point And um, something that's neat about this is if I want to, I can make this a sticker because this is actually photo sticker paper. Um, so you could, um, those crafty folks out there, you guys can um, go ahead and print using um, a laser jet printer like I did and uh, color it in and cut it out and use your digi stamps as stickers if you want to like just straight out without having to run it through Xyron machine or if you are more invested in drawing your own imagery like me you can use this to decorate like your binder if you're younger or your sketchbook cover again just sort of don't use frisket so are there any interesting papers that you are curious as to what markers work well on them, if any. If so, um, leave a comment below on this or any of my marker paper compatibility test videos. I would be excited to find out. These have been a lot of fun for me, other than the whole masking fluid fiasco. And I'm going to have to revisit Copic on 
photo paper. This was glossy photo paper, by the way. Matte photo paper handles differently. Sure sings a lot. This is a Blick Studio marker. And you see those areas where her hair was masked off and it's entered into where the sky should be? Usually you could fix that with a Copic in the same color and some patience, but um, still dealing with the resist here. Uh, also a problem with the sort of gummy application of color to the, her dress. I am having trouble still. I pretty much bring it up every time it negatively affects what I'm trying to do. I have a couple of custom made colors that I'm using. Um, this and one of the yellows over here were uh, Ranger inks that I really liked the color of, and I didn't think I had anything in my Copic or Prismacolor library that was that color. So I went ahead and filled an empty Copic sketch with those inks, and I have a video on doing that if you're interested. It's a great way if you have some of the pinata inks or the um, Adirondack inks. It's a great way to make them into markers so they are a little, perhaps a little more usable. Although I will say for those of you whose interests are piqued, it is not a replacement for Copics whatsoever um, because it's still pretty expensive. The empty Copic wa uh, sketches are almost as much as the filled colors, so I only really recommend it if you want a marker version of some of your favorite alcohol inks. So, there are areas that are going to take a little bit longer to dry because they have that adhesive on them, but I'm switching over to my next color, which is uh, Ranger Sunshine Yellow. And I should mention that I don't have any affiliation with any of these companies. Um, I'm just an illustrator who enjoys using alcohol markers a lot, and I like sharing what I know with other people. Okay, so it doesn't seem to blend out the way it would on non, on, well, um, most other papers, it would blend out some. So where you put your strokes, where you put your colors, that's going to be important because it's not going to move. Alright, so that was my first test using a uh, photo paper. And this is just cheap photo sticker paper. Um, it worked pretty well, and I did use my laser jet, my home laser jet printer, to print my um, line art, which is my line art, a line art I drew on another piece of paper, um, to print my line art onto this photo paper. But I think you could use this technique um, with, of course, with your own line art, but also with digi stamps. And since this is photo sticker paper, I can cut this out and put this somewhere else. Um, without having to run it through a Xyron machine. Um, I was impressed by how nicely the alcohol inks take to the paper. Um, and I was impressed by the fact that the alcohol inks did not reactivate the toner. Now I did use Miskit, or I'm sorry, Friskit earlier in the video as a mask so I could do an all over wash of this blue sky. And I do regret doing that because it left sticky adhesive all over the place which affected how well my markers worked on this paper. However, 
I do think glossy photo paper is an interesting medium to use with your alcohol-based markers, and if you haven't tried it yet, it's certainly worth considering. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoy content like this, if you found content like this helpful or useful or inspiring, what have you, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to make even more content like these marker paper compatibility tests possible, please consider backing my Patreon at patreon.com slash natosuit. Uh, I am a small business. I am um, a freelance illustrator and comic artist. And if you enjoy those sort of things, please check out my comic at natosoup.com slash kara hyphen comic for more information about the series this little girl comes from. I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.